Hi guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Today I am sharing what my kids are getting for Christmas. This is a collection of what me and my husband are getting my kids, along with multiple sets of grandparents. So there's tons of ideas in this video, so keep watching. My name is Lindsay and I am a mom to a three-year-old and an almost one-year-old. Ashton will be turning one in January, January 8th. So a lot of these toys are based on like a one-year-old. And then he is a second child, though it is his first Christmas, so we want it to be special, but he does have a lot of stuff already, so he was really hard to shop for. And we didn't really get him all that much stuff because he has a lot of hand-me-down toys from Hayden. So after I film what he's getting for Christmas, I will go upstairs and share what some really popular toys are that he's like playing with right now. So this video can just be a little bit more helpful for a one and a three-year-old. I also just want to say that although this might look like a lot of gifts, a lot of them are gifted from multiple sets of grandparents and we just really love celebrating Christmas in this way, but it is not about the gifting, it's not about the receiving, it's about spending time with family and it's about creating those little magic moments with your children that are going to set the memories for years and years. Like the other night I set up fairy lights in Hayden's room and he just loves it and it's like super Christmassy and those are the types of things that they're going to remember as they get old. So it's not about things, it's about moments. So my older son Hayden will be turning four in April. His like main things that he loves are like cars, dinosaurs, and animals. First I'll share with you guys what is going in their stockings because that's always fun to see to get some ideas. So for my baby he We'll be turning one in January, um, and we've already started with like the shorter utensils, the grabbies ones, but I'm getting him these in his stocking. Uh, I had a set just like this with Hayden, but they were just in not very good condition. So I got Ashton a set. I like the metal ones, they're easier for them to use, and they don't get as frustrated as like some thicker plastic ones. Also sticking a munchkin uh, weighted straw cup in his stocking because we like to have multiple of these so it's something that he needs and I can put it in his stocking. I also got him this really cool Melissa and Doug book. These are polka dot and they have this popping thing on each page. Something to keep their interest and this is a bunch of like first words and they have multiple different ones from that line. I'm also getting him the Baby Beluga book. I often sing this to both my kids, so when I saw the board book, I figured I'd grab it. And I'm gonna stick it in Ashton's stocking. Another thing that is going in both their stockings are just these chocolate letters. I found them at Walmart, and I grabbed some for me and Nick as well. I just did Mom and Dad, M and D, and yeah, obviously my baby is not going to be eating chocolate, but we can help him with that. And between both their stockings, I'll be opening this package of Crayola bath crayons and just wrapping some of them in ribbon and putting in each of their stockings and they can both play with these. And the last thing for Ashton's stocking is this Take Along Tunes by Baby Einstein. This is good for babies even younger, but he really likes music, so I think he'll like this. And I love Baby Einstein because it's all like classical music, so it's not super annoying. Um, I think he'll like this. And then for my three-year-old stocking, he is getting this fun charades game. I know that they've been playing this at preschool lately, and he's been pretty into it. It's just a fun little family thing. I also got him the Melissa and Doug Water Wow, the dinosaur ones. We have some of the other ones, and they do occupy him for a good amount of time, and he loves dinosaurs, so I know he's going to love this. You just fill the pen with water and they color the pages and color appears with just water. We also got him three Cars Cars and these are the color changers. So we have a huge collection of cars already. I counted the other day and we have way too many but we bought a lot of them secondhand because they're kind of hard to find these days because movies haven't been made in a while but you still can find them. Anyways, these are the color changer ones. You stick them in cold water, they change a color, and you stick them in warm water and they change back. 
Um, so they're pretty fun. We always just set up like bowls, cold water and hot water. Uh, there are toys that go along with these two, like car washes and stuff. We don't have any. We've always just set up bowls. I also got Hayden this Kisses candy cane to kind of stick out of his stocking just because I think that that will look really cute. And he is really into sweets now. And then I also got him this lacing set. I don't think this will actually fit in his stocking, but I'll probably put it in his like Santa bag. And it's like a good fine motor and they just lace like around the pets. And this has a dog, a cat, and a turtle and different household pets. I picked this up for Hayden secondhand. It is another Cars car. We have been looking for Miss Fritter and he has been asking for Miss Fritter. So when I saw this on Facebook Marketplace, I grabbed it. I didn't think it was gonna be this big, but he is going to love it. So that's all I got for their stockings. And then I'll get into the bigger items behind me. Lots of this is from grandparents as well. We have some grandparents that live farther away. So they send it to us for us to wrap. So I thought I would share some of those ideas as well. I'll go through some of the baby stuff first. This I got for Ashton. We have a lot of Melissa and Doug puzzles already, but we didn't have the shapes one. So it's really good for around the one-year-old age for them to like take them out. Eventually they'll learn to put them in, but right now they can just grab the little knob. And there's also thicker, chunkier Melissa and Doug puzzles with like bigger pieces. Uh, Hayden loved those at this age, so that's something that obviously Ashton can play with as well. That would be a really good gift idea. Another thing for Ashton is this Learning Resources Hedgehog. They take these pieces and put them in the holes, so like fine motor practice. Um, I'm always meant to get this for Hayden and I just never got around to it, but this came as a recommendation from one of my good mom friends. And yeah, I'm excited for Ashton to have this. It says 18 months, but I think 12 to 18 months is when they'll be able to do that, show interest in that. Another thing sent from family is this Melissa and Doug truck shape sorter. This one does say 2 plus, but I think it'll be fine. It's probably just because like they could kind of put their weight on it and it could slide out from under them. So something to be aware of. But yeah, we do have other shape sorters, but this one is just kind of like a different element because it is a truck. So I think that that will get a lot of you. The big gift from mom and dad to Ashton is this Fisher Price robot. I don't know if this is like new this year or whatnot. It is a different like stage toy. So like it's something that like younger babies can play with and then they can like crawl along with it. It moves a little bit. I don't know if I'll regret this, being that it's like bright and loud and stuff, but I think both boys will play with this and they will love it. I tried to really focus on stuff that like both of my boys could play with. So a one-year-old, a three-year-old. This one says one to five. So I think they will both really like it. And then another gift from family that we asked for is the Fisher Price tall car ramp. The box is right here. I haven't, we haven't built it yet, but this is the box. It's the little people launch and loop. So it's like cars go down it. There's even like a ramp that they can go on. So that'll be for Ashton, but again, both boys will play with it. Hayden is gonna love that as well. Um, and I think it comes with two cars and this is a set of like more racers to just like Go down the ramp more racers. <laughs> It'll just be more fun to have more cars, right? Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for them to have that I always thought that I would be like on the more minimal side of toys, but I just love giving them toys. They're so happy and it fills our day another thing for, for both boys is this bath toy and this has a pump at the bottom that sucks water up and creates like a faucet so if you have kids that like to have the faucet running and waste water uh, this would be perfect for them so yeah the pump just keeps water going and it has some like gears and cups for them to play with as well and this has amazing reviews and I'm pretty excited about it something that they can definitely both get a lot of play and enjoyment out of and stick them in the bath and they can have lots of fun. This is another Little People Fisher-Price um, vehicle set. 
So this is like a pizza car and this is like a truck. So it's called the Around the Neighborhood Vehicle Pack. It comes with five cars and five little people. It's like the pizza guy. Um, yeah, so this is for Ashton, but both boys will play with it. I think Ashton is really going to like this one. So that's pretty much everything we got for our almost one year old. The next stuff is for my three and a half year old. He is probably getting a little bit more stuff than Ashton, but I will even things out as they get older. For now, Ashton can play with the tons of toys that Hayden already has, like hand-me-down toys, and he is happy and content with that. The main thing that Hayden has been asking for is rescue bots. Um, I'm very mindful of what he watches on TV. Uh, for the most part, day to day, we don't watch a lot of this stuff. I like to put on like educational stuff, but every once in a while, especially at grandma's, he'll watch Rescue Bots. Um, this is the Rescue Bots Academy set. We already have like a bunch of the Transformers. These are just like a one-step transform, and he loves them. They're like his favorite toys. He's always asking for more and stuff. Um, they're not very like open-ended or anything, but he loves them and this is the main thing that he's asking for. Um, so these are, this is a four pack of the Academy Bots and I got this on Amazon for like 42 or $45. This is his Santa gift. And then I also found one of the Rescue Bots Boulder that we didn't have. He's going to love that. He's asking for one more is that they don't even make, so I don't know, he's probably going to be pretty upset about that, but he's getting a lot of things. And then our main gift for Hayden is, this is the box. Our main gift for Hayden is the Coco Village Airport. So this is like a wooden airport with like a road for a runway. Uh, he's really into like cars and things that go, like that's like one of his like main toy categories that he likes so I wanted to get him something other than cars and we got him the airport from Coco Village. I'll put a picture of it here. I think he's gonna love it and it's so cute. If you've never heard of Coco Village before definitely check out their website. They just have like tons of beautiful wooden toys and they're not super expensive and they also have beds and furniture and play mats. They have just tons of beautiful stuff. And it all goes on sale, so make sure you're watching for their sale. Another item that he's getting from a grandparent that I gave them the idea for is this big kinetic sand kit. And this one's neat because everything stays contained in this storage box and you just open it and it, you can make like a construction scene. And there's different construction vehicles and you can make blocks with the kinetic sand and then break them with this like crane slash wrecking ball. Um, I think he's really gonna love this. You can even like build the bricks up and stuff. Kinetic sand is such a cool toy and it might sound scary to be putting like sand in your house but it's honestly pretty easy to clean up. If your child is younger, I used to always like put a bin inside of a bin, you know like those under the bed storage bins. I would put a bin inside of a bin to kind of keep the mess contained. And they used to put like little bugs in kinetic sand and stuff. But now he's getting a little older. This themed kit is going to be really good for him. He is also getting this Melissa and Doug pattern set. So you take these little pieces and match the patterns. And there's a bunch of different ones here. There's like stacks of different patterns in here. So it's like shape recognition, color recognition, and something that is very independent for him to do which I'm always looking for. I also got him a world map jigsaw puzzle. Uh, he's been doing jigsaw puzzles since he was like two and a half. He had like some dinosaur ones, some bigger floor ones that he is super into, but we wanted to get just a map one. This one is a little bit smaller pieces and he's just, He's just at that age where he just has so, so many questions. So I like to get him stuff where like we can just like talk about the world and kind of try and explain that kind of stuff. <laughs> um, this is something again from, an, from a grandparent and it is the Magnet Tiles car expansion. We actually have Picasso tiles, but these will work with both. This is a way to turn your Magnet tiles into like a vehicle and make different shapes on a vehicle. 
Um, Hayden has never really been super into building stuff, even though like we have all the building toys. Like we have Mega Bloks and Duplo and uh, Stickle Bricks and all that stuff. He's just not like a building kid, but he does play with these every once in a while. And I think that this will like really engage him because he does like things that go. Another thing that I found was this Genoid toy. And this is everything's contained in this box and what you do is you flip it open and there's like mag this is magnetic on the back and then these pieces all stick to the back and this is a construction scene and again something that he can do independently and kind of like make little different creations so something that he can do independently be creative with another thing that he's getting sent from a grandparent is the dentist play-doh set and I think this is really cool because you know there's just so many toys that are like construction themed and just car themed and like that's what he's into and I get that but I like to find toys that like portray other careers just to get you know an, a good idea of the perspective of the world and I think this one's so cool that it's like dentist you get to make teeth it's like a little drill super fun I'm excited to play with this one Another thing that he is getting is these Disney Hot Wheels. Uh, I think this is almost like a collector set. Um, so I don't know. I might have him just like keep this on shelves and stuff and not really play with it too much. Um, Diecast cars tend to get really like chipped and dented and stuff. But these are the Mickey characters. So it's a car that just has like the color theme of Mickey, color theme of Minnie, and all of the Sensational Six. I am a big Disney fan, so when I see stuff like this, I love it and I want my boys to have it. <laughs> so I requested this from grandparents. I gave them the idea and I think it's so cute. Another thing that Hayden is getting is this dinosaur eggs. So I think this was like seen on a Blippi episode, which we totally used to watch Blippi. I don't really turn it on anymore just because... I don't really like the blippy mannerisms and stuff like that. I think it was fine for when he was like two, but I just, I haven't, since he has been a little bit older, we don't really watch Blippy anymore. Um, but anyways, that's besides the point. This was in one of the Blippy episodes where he like dunked them in water and then used tools to get these out. So I think I'll probably save this for the summer, but it's definitely something that Hayden is going to love. And this was a set on Amazon for like maybe $40, which when you're only giving them one egg at a time, I think that that's pretty good. So I think that's everything that's behind me. We just had family stay with us for about a week and we did like a little gift exchange at the beginning of December. And I wanted to share some of the things that Hayden and Ashton both got but um, Ashton's are upstairs. So when I show you the baby toys, I will show you those. This is the Kinetic Sand ice cream set, and this is like the smelling Kinetic Sand, so it actually smells like ice cream. And you get to make like Sunday's ice cream cones, little sandwiches. He's been really into this. We played with it quite a bit, and he pretends he has an ice cream shop, and it's so fun and cute. He also got this Play Doh, Nick Jr. Play Doh set of all of these like um, molds for play-doh so and they're all dinosaur and he was really liking this as well something as he gets older it'll be a lot more independent right now he still needs like a little bit of help with stuff like this but yeah we love play-doh for the sensory play and just super fun and then another thing he got was this melissa and doug dress up set um so it is comes with this guy and you dress him up in different careers, clothing, uh, play clothing. There's like a knight and a police officer, a construction worker, a superhero. Yeah, there's like boots and everything that go along with it too. Um, and a little stand for the guy to stand on. So something to play with independently and just to be creative with. I have a few more items here that are from another set of grandparents I wanted to share. These are a snow bear feet. So you put them on your shoes and you can make like bear prints in the snow. So if you live in a cold climate and if you have kids, 
this would be so cute this will be so fun after like a fresh snowfall they also sent Ashton some little toys this little dinosaur with wheels by plan toys and then this skip hop um, like button and melody like song thing uh, so he's gonna love that these are great to have um, to keep them busy in the high chair or the car seat And then they sent this excavation of a dinosaur, a Parasaurolophus, and you actually like work to get this out of a rock. It does say seven plus, so we will have to work on this with Hayden, but that'll be something fun. Also a dinosaur stacking game, so try and balance them to be able to make the stack really high. Also sent a encyclopedia of dinosaurs, which Hayden loves dinosaurs. The dinosaur books are always the first ones that he grabs, so he is going to love this. And they also sent a age-appropriate board game, Count Your Chickens. This is like one of the most popular games for like three and four-year-olds, so I'm excited to play this with him. It is a three plus game, two to four players, 15 minutes. And it's one of those games that there's not really like a winner. It's a cooperative game. So just something fun for us to do as a family. And my mom who lives local to us, um, the gifts that she's getting the boys are like a tent to set up in the basement here for them to like play and crawl in and out of and um she's getting ashton a snowsuit uh so something that he needed she's also getting hayden another board game it's similar to like kerplunk but more like um not marbles they're like a softer they're actually bumblebees and they played at preschool so i thought that would be a good one for us to play at home and then she's also getting him an inflatable punching bag uh, my husband had like a punching bag in the gym so it's just something for Hayden to do as well. And she's also getting him the PJ masks, like capes and masks. Um, again, that's not really a show that we watch often. Every once in a while we'll watch it. Uh, but he likes playing PJ masks. We'll listen to a lot of the songs that are on like Apple Music and he'll run around and play PJ masks. So for him to have the capes and the masks, and that was like a $15 thing on Amazon. So I will put that on the screen here and everything will be linked below and then I also wanted to go through the stack of books that I have for the boys if you've watched my channel before you know that I'm a big fan of children's books I have a lot of like book recommendation videos so this is the stuff that I got I ordered some of these from book outlet and those ones were between five and ten dollars and then lots of the picture books are gifts from grandparents that I requested Books can be so expensive and it's really too bad because they have like no resale value or anything, but I absolutely love children's literature and I always, always, always preach your local library because they lose interest in stuff quickly, so why not just borrow it from your local library? Anyways, we're getting The Pout Pout Fitch, which is a New York Times bestseller. We have read this from the library before and it's like a rhymey book. Very good. This is an alphabet book with like indents for the actual letters for them to like learn the shapes. So both will like this, but Hayden is like learning how to write right now. So I thought that that would be good. For Ashton, we got a first 100 numbers. And this is pretty interesting because like it goes all the way up to really high numbers. So Hayden might even show some interest in that as well. I grabbed ABCs of Kindness. Diggersaurus, we've borrowed this from the library and it's a huge hit with Hayden, so I wanted to add it to our collection. Dragon Loves Tacos, again, we have got this from the library before. It is such a good and funny book. Another New York Times bestseller, such a good book. Crocodiles Need Kisses too. This is the My Wimmel book, Dinosaurs. These books are really neat because they don't have a lot of words. Like the first page has different things that you can like look for in the book. And then, yeah, it's just like basically just a picture book of just things to look and talk about. We have the Christmas one and we also have like an animal one. We're getting the construction site demolition. 
This is the second book to Good Night, Good Night Construction Slate. Getting The Color Monster. This is a pop-up book about feelings. And then Daniel Tiger's Five Minute Stories. Daniel Tiger is one of like my favorite kid shows because it's just like gentle parenting in a TV show. It's wonderful. Hey guys, so I'm upstairs. Babies are sleeping now. So I just wanted to share a couple of the toys that are high on my recommendation lists. Um, basically, if you've watched my videos before, you know that we have like toys in this cabinet here. And then I have this like open play area for Ashton, which is like overrun right now. I really need to do a toy rotation, but um, things that like always stay out are our activity cube. And this is the zany zoo. And each side has something like different, like this one. You put these up and they fall down. I don't want to make too much noise right now. This has like a full alphabet. And then these ones have like doors that open and close. And um, as they're learning to sit, even during tummy time, this can be something to occupy them. And always recommend a pop-up toy, so something that they can use their grasp and learn each of these things, cause and effect. A good stacker toy at like a young age before one years old, they'll just take them off the ring and play with the rings and as they get older, they'll learn to put them on the ring. This one's kind of different than like the classic Fisher Price one that you see. This one's by Sassy. This is like one of the top recommendations for like 10 to 18 months. Ashton's not super into it yet and he's 11 months, so. Um, but yeah, a good one to like keep in the car would be a good stocking stuffer. And he just got this little set. This is like a ball. You p hammer these balls down and then it hits the xylophone and makes music. Ashton is 11 months and my mother-in-law taught him how to do this, which I thought was pretty amazing. I brought this up the other day. This is the baby Einstein activity table. This is a 12 month plus activity table, but um, I think it's the one of the most interactive ones that I've seen. Ooh. change the music. This is something that you can write on. This is also a whiteboard, but we've never used it. You can learn the colors. Blue. Red. And then this button here moves all of these gears and then makes this light up. And you can also put these colors in. anybody up but this is a very cool activity table and then the last thing I want to share is this is probably the thing that makes Ashton the happiest right now this was Hayden's first birthday gift it is a tent I got it from Amazon and then I got a set of ball pit balls from Walmart and this makes Ashton so happy he just gets in there and he smiles and he kicks his feet and he loves it so if you have a baby around like, I don't know, nine months plus, perfect Christmas gift, bigger, but actually not that expensive. It would be a really great gift. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found some helpful ideas for Christmas and thanks for being here. Hit that subscribe button to stick around for more videos. I make videos all about motherhood, lifestyle, just helpful tips here on YouTube. And I like to share my everyday life so hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!